Hey, what's going on my little dragons? How are you feeling today? If you're feeling good, please do let me know down in the comments below. Drop a like on this video, share the video with your friends and family and don't forget to punch that subscribe button as it will help your little dragon out so very, very much. Now today I am going to, I'm so happy that I'm going to share my happiness with you. Just very, very excited and I didn't actually talk much about this uh, for a while. I was just like, you know, let, let this happen. It was quite exciting for me, so I like, let it happen, it's all going to be good, and then we can talk about it afterwards. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, to not to everybody's surprise, I have actually just done a film. It will be down in the description below, and it will be down in the comments below, so please go and click on the link and show your love over there. If you want to say something about the film, you know, like what you guys thought about my acting or whatever you want, say it down in the description, say it down in the comments here, because over there it's them that's going to respond, so... I've got like no connection with that but here you know I can talk about it and let you know and you know say my thank yous to you if you guys liked it or if you guys didn't like it you know let me know as well but yes to me I'm very much excited because it's it, it, you know I had lots of faith in this project and going out there and acting in this first of all getting this part was really cool uh, this is the first film I've ever done that's like a live location. Every film I've done was like shot in a studio or it was shot in like a, a private location, like in a house or something. The last two shoots, I did a photo shoot that was also a live location and I did a shoot. This shoot was all live location, mostly Coventry and Birmingham in the city centre and in public. So yeah, it, it opened my eyes up more because uh, for projects that I want to make and stuff. So I got to learn about a lot of, I got a lot of questions. I wrote down a lot of questions to ask these people and I got pretty much all the answers. So it's really good, man. It's really good. I can more so see the positivity towards my um, goals and what I want to achieve. It's really opened up a lot of, first of all, it's opened up my eyes up and it's shown me a few things and it helped me understand a few things, but also the opportunities have occurred now. All I need to do is just that there's some necessary steps I need to take and I can start making my own projects. But this project was beautiful. Um, honestly, actually, today is it the 13th? So as I'm making this video, it is, has been two months since I've been offered this role. And I did a video call like interview with the director. So they saw my face and they seen some of my show reels and they really liked it. I applied for this film and they really liked, you know, my they thought, thought my face and everything was suitable for the character. So they gave me the chance. It was the assistant director who's the casting guy. His name was Onso or Kyle. Uh, he was the one that apparently he said to the director because they told me when I, on my first day of shoot, they actually told me that he saw my face and he was like, you know, look at this guy. This guy must be suitable for the character. So he showed it to the director and he was like, get this guy on board. That's what they said. <laughs> they were like, get this guy on board. We want him in our film. So I had the uh, the meeting with him, the director. It was me, the director, the assistant, and it was the hero, the main character of the film. Daniel was his name and his character name is Henry. Funny thing is, my name is Daniel in the film and the other actor's name is Daniel. So when they call us by the character name Daniel, we don't know who they're talking to <laughs> because they keep switching up. They're like, okay, Henry, Daniel, you go here. Oh, wait, Daniel, come back. Rishi, come back. And they're like, oh, like, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You keep, you keep changing it, man. You, it, <laughs> are you going to call us by the character name? And there's also one of the, um, the DOP, the director of photography, the cameraman was also named Daniel. And there's another guy called Jack Daniel. So, yeah, there's too many Daniels in this project. And um, so it was interesting to work in it. It was kind of, it was fun. Uh, but there was a lot of hard work on their behalf and they, you know, put so much effort into making this. I could see, I could, I could see the, the potential. These guys are young, uh, filmmakers. So yeah, they've got a lot of, bro. Um, yeah, I've, I've actually not seen any of the other projects. So this was the first project I've seen. I've seen the film. I personally really, really enjoyed it. I think that that I mostly instead of most instead of looking at my character and how I performed, I saw what they were doing, like how the camera. Because that's what I was intrigued by. I've said this before on this channel that I'm always intrigued by the directors and the crew and what they do more than the other actors and what they do or what I do. 
until I, you know, when, when it's time for me to work, when I have to do the scene, then I have to worry about what I'm doing. But aside of that, I always worry about, I always like, I'm very intrigued by what they're doing. I'm always just watching, sitting there and watching. So it was a wonderful privilege for me to sit there and understand more about film. Because I didn't go to any film school or classes or anything like that, absolutely nothing. So I don't know anything about that. I don't even know anything about acting. I never went to any acting classes. I studied it myself, watching videos, watching actors, practicing, you know, talking in front of the camera over and over and over and over, and over again. So that's how I practice and I practice different emotions. That's how I learned acting. So directing is the same. So I need to, I mean, this journey has just begun for me to learn and study. And so I'm trying to understand it as well. And I've got some people that I want to work with and build the stories up with. I've wrote a few stories, which for some reasons, unfortunate reasons, I can't go forward and make these projects. But there's one good project that I really want to make that is most certainly going to happen very soon i wrote the story and everything now i just need to propose it to these um other like film enthusiasts film industry workers and crews and the director and another director i want to work with another director and build up on the story and see what their view on this story and obviously something has to change within the script so i'm yeah i'm basically interested in doing that but now this film man first day the first shot of me and the other actor, Daniel, the first day we were in Birmingham City Centre, it was a busy, busy city. So we will put our stuff there. There were so many people on our team that was there to work. I've never had that many people for a film. Film usually is like, I think, six people max. I think it was. His was like 11, 12 people. Like so many people were there on the set, like doing all the, the carrying all the stuff. The camera stuff, the sound, the light. Uh, actually, uh, on, the, on the outside bit, there was no light. Um, it was the outside natural light. But um, yeah, and then looking after all the stuff and then, you know, set assistants that were there. So it was really cool. And then uh, the first day was mostly, it's obviously as an actor, if you know about acting, you have to wait a lot. And there's a lot of waiting that's actually involved. So that's what the first day was mostly, what consisted of the first day. And I was really, um, the, the, yeah, I was sort of waiting and I still got to see. So most of that day, I actually got to watch them create the film. And then on my first take, when they, they shot the scenes for the other actor, and then when they got to, got me to start the first take, they got me to stand somewhere. And the assistant director goes to me, all right, because I'm standing in like a corner. So if this is a wall, I'm standing right here and the shoot is happening here. So when I'm here, the uh, assistants and all of that were here. So they were like, okay, we'll give you a signal and then you have to walk through the crowd of people. And I was standing in a place and there was this homeless lady that was there. She was so sweet. Um, I felt kind of bad for not giving anything because I didn't have any like money on it because they, these guys, I didn't have any money or anything because these guys were the ones like well, looking after me, giving me food, you know, paying for everything for me. So I, was, I didn't even bring any money with me. Not even emergency money, I brought nothing with me. I was literally just like completely empty coming to the shoot. I just had my costumes and that was it on my phone. Uh, and I was practicing the lines over and over. So I was just standing there and I was uh, this day I didn't have any lines. I was just standing there, I was just waiting. And she was really sweet to me. She was like, you know, you know, cool down. You look very stressed and all of that. Like just cool down. I was like, no, I'm looking stressed because you know, that's the character. The character himself is very stressed. But she was like, oh, so I was having a conversation uh, a little bit. When I was there, but I had to stand there and I was still focused. I was like multitasking, I was talking here and I was like um, watching out for, for them to call me. And then as soon as they said, okay, action, I, you know, I did the scene. And it was really cool, you know, it made you do it a couple of times. I was walking and this girl comes up to me and I don't know, I, I thought she came up to me because she saw me acting and she was like, hey, you know, where, where can she like become an actor or whatever? Like, I thought she was just interested in what we were doing. But she came to me and she was like starting to, um, sell me something and I was I was honestly uh, I said to her look um yeah um I'm actually working with these guys so yeah and she walked away and yeah so stuff like that happened um people are asking the crew for like work with um them for their wedding shoots so many things like yeah it was, it was random things that was going on no one asked me for any more acting or anything which was interesting 
so yeah, the first day went really smooth. They looked after me like a baby on set, man. That's all it is. They brought, they bought me food. They, they they didn't give me any stress. They gave me places to sit. They would all stand up in the train. We we took a train to go to Birmingham. They would all stand up and they gave me seats. <laughs> I was like, what? So yeah, that that respect that you get as an actor, because obviously in my real in my personal life, nobody you know like in my work in my life like in school at home no one like treats me like a freaking king these guys are treating me like king i'm like yo as an actor as, as one of the perks of being an actor like they all treat you with so much love they care about you so much like they do not want to disappoint you they make sure everything's okay like rishi one one shoot there was a uh, the lady in the shoot because they the the man who was the director and his he always has this assistant uh, his wife and every time he wants to call me for the for my scene uh, she would come, she would, they'll get the shot already so they won't disturb me But then she would come over and she'll call me, she'll be like She'll just come jogging up to me like, yeah, she sweetie, your shot's ready, come And she'll hold me by the hand, I was like Man, I'm 20, I was, I was 23 at the time, I'm like, I'm 23, not 3 <laughs> She's trying to treat me like a baby And the makeup artist will come and sit and talk to me in that shoot, that was funny um, Yo, that was like 2 years ago and uh, something, yeah, things like that happen. These guys are all coming up to me. There was, there was one girl that was really like smiley on on the set, and she was like talking to me. And I, I was really nervous to like talk to any of the girls on the set because uh, I didn't want the director to think, oh, look at this guy, he's just sitting there talking to the girls. And I'm like, you know, I'm I'm a very professional. I want to be like a professional. Every time I'm just sitting there like practicing the lines, learning the lines, or I'm looking at the shot lists. They gave me the shot lists, which is like the order of what they're gonna shoot that day. So I'll just be prepared, I'll see the shot list and say, okay, this is what I need to learn for that and I need to like tune in the character. So I was I was really focused on that. So I wanted them to think like, okay, he's a really serious actor. Um, but yeah, it was one of the girls that was trying to talk to me and I was, I might have been a bit, she might have per perceived me as a little bit rude, but I wasn't, that wasn't my intention at all. Um, if she's ever watching this, I don't think so. But if she is, you know, I wasn't being rude. I was just... Trying to you know, stay focused on the craft, but uh, except for that, that was on a different day. So yeah, the, the first day was like smooth and it was long though. It was quite long. Second day was just the night shoot. I think the last scene that you see in the film, and that was what we shot before, and there was smoking and drinking. I didn't want to drink all the drinks. Every scene that you see me drink, it's just water, and the coffee is just also just water. The coffee shop that we shot in. Um, it was, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second, but um, yeah, they gave me, they, they literally said to the, the baristas, like, this guy is the imp most important guy. Whatever he orders, just give it to him and just give us the bill afterwards, we'll pay for it. So I was like, okay, and I'm like, yeah, just buy the most expensive coffee or whatever. I bought, I, I bought something, what did I buy? It was some, like, it was nice, something like, it was on the menu, one, one of the expensive ones. And I bought that and I was drinking it because I thought that was going to be in sea. So I only drank about half of it. It was so good, but I didn't get to finish it. So, yeah, they gave me water instead on that day. Um, for the shoot, they filled the cup up with water. But yeah, the second day, the beer was just water. The cigarette was real, obviously. You have to let out smoke. Um, I don't smoke in real life, but, you know, for a film, I do. I have, like, in the past, I have, like, I, I was never a smoker. I would just smoke or vape, but even vaping and smoking, I don't do it, like, prop like, I don't always do it. Every now and then, like if I go to a club or a party or something, I might do a vape. But uh, smoking, yeah. I, here and there, I might have, same as drinking. Like I'm not like addicted to all this stuff. So I didn't want to drink on set. So I, I was like, just please skip the drinks. But everything else is okay. I skipped them the drinks is fine. But then, um, yeah, so they emptied it. They got one of the directors to down it. Or the assistant, yeah, he, he was he downed the bottle and then they rinsed it all out and gave me uh, water inside of the beer. Uh, on the outside shoots on a different day, I because there were, wherever we, it was a live location, so wherever we, whenever I get a chance, if there's like a bar or a coffee shop or anything nearby, i would quickly go in there and, so the bar, I'll just go in there and give it to them. And I was like, can you rinse this out and put water inside it? They gave me a weird look, I was like, no, I'm, I'm acting a film and I don't actually drink. I was like, okay, no problem. And then I, um, yeah, whenever whenever I get a chance, and the thing is, it's so windy that it keeps messing up my hair and all, and I have to keep going to the toilet over and over again. I have to make sure, like, look, I'm, I'm gonna keep going to the toilet and back, but you know, I'm just letting you know, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm just checking my hair because the wind keeps messing up my hair, so I want to make my hair like right on for the 
for the shot. But as soon as I go get ready and come up and they're waiting for the shot to be ready, it will all be messed up anyway. So it is what it is. Um, but uh, yeah, so the second day was good. Um, the other actor, he doesn't smoke, but he would drink. He said on set, on set, and I said I don't drink, but I'd smoke on set, which is it's kind of funny how that turned out. But um, yeah, unless I had to like take it in, I didn't. So in the close, when it was a close up, then I had to like take it in and leave the smoke out, which I did it properly. The last scene. Then the third day was all in the house. A lot of what we shot in the third day didn't actually make it in the final cut, which. It's a little bit like I'm like oh you know I could I I would have wanted to see it because we took so long to make this scene and uh, there was a, there was a scene where he, the other actor will come into the bathroom and then I come out so it's like a transition so it's a, it looks like it's two different places but it's single place so he would come in and then I have to wait for like four seconds and then I will go out and we did something a bit creative and unique in that um, so I would go out and then the way I you know go into the room and get my stuff and get changed and stuff there was a lot of like unique the things that I tried for that scene uh, I didn't make it but some of the other uh, cool scenes that I tried they let it in the scene um, they let it be in the film which was cool that was interesting um, I don't know why uh, yeah it would have been nice to see that scene um, in the film but hey it was it was cool that was the third day fourth day i really have to this is why this is why i even made this video because i have to talk about what happened on the fourth day it was, it was a good reason um so we went all the way to birmingham i live in coventry so we got the train we went to birmingham you know they took me they paid for everything we went there and um they took me to eat we went to get food i got some food and they bought they bought me food we went to subway sitting there the rain was literally like taking the mickey man it really took like took it all out of us we weren't able to shoot at all that day so it was such a waste it was such a waste for them it was so sad because they had to carry all the stuff they had to br pay and bring us all down there and they wanted to shoot that day but we couldn't you know we couldn't shoot that day which was sad and what happened was the assistant director shout out to him man he was he was holding about five things and they never let me carry anything obviously because you know, you're the actor, so they, don't, they were like, they let you be free. It was raining outside. He was holding like five things. He didn't ask me to carry anything. He goes, gets the umbrella, and he holds it above my head. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, no, come on, man. I, I am human. I know you're all humans, man, and you can't just put me like that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm not even a real, like, I'm not even a big actor. I'm just a little, I'm just a kid, man. I'm just a normal guy. You can, you can ask me to carry a few of these things. I'm not going to say no. I know I'm not a diva. I've actually been on set and I've seen the actors and actresses who are quite rude to the assistants. So I guess like these people get those, maybe they think of it like that. Maybe they're like, oh, the actors are quite rude sometimes or they don't, they don't like talking to people. They they look at levels or anything. I'm definitely not like that. I'm, I'm a cool guy. I, I like treating everybody equally. I think everybody's on the same platform. People are with different jobs. The same way you're doing your job which is the camera work and the sound work, the editing work. You guys are doing your job and my job is acting. So my job is as soon as you say action is to perform the scene. That's it. I'm not special. I'm just human. So when I, I was thinking that and I it was like, you know, give me some of the stuff and I was holding the umbrella for both of us. But that was crazy. Like how well they treated me was crazy. And I can't forget that. That, that moment was just so special. When he had so much to hold in his hand, he's holding the umbrella. It's always the other way around. No matter how much I'm holding, my mom will make me hold the umbrella for her, or my brother will make me hold the umbrella, or my, uh, yeah, any of my friends. They will, they will always worry about themselves. But this guy, like, he cares about me. They all care about me. They put me first, and then they worry about themselves. So it was it was a different sort of a, a feel, and I don't know, man. I, I was like, I liked it. I loved it so much, and never, never have I experienced anything like that, like to this level before. Um, another habit I have is I never ever look at the monitor after the shot is done so after you do the shot because no matter how well I perform I would always like come and say like it's not good or I always think to myself that it's not good so I don't want that you know as long as they're happy they're satisfied with the scene perfect so I was like okay you know everything's perfect to you guys whatever scene you want me to do I'll do it as I need to do it I'll do it 100% uh, but you know, whether, whether it's good or not you decide so I left it to them. I did. I did my best to do the scenes. Um, those were the, were the interesting moments. 
so yeah that that day got cancelled and they apologized to me and i was like oh, you know what? it's cool i know it's unfortunate this happens that's life things struggles struggles everything is part of life and i was like okay cool so the next day it was about a week afterwards and we shot on um yeah so we shot again so we did that day again and that was the day that was like the most every other day like it was me and the other actor this was like completely just me on that day and it was fun it was it was different for me to shoot like i was the only actor i felt like um yeah they treat me like a baby they treat me like a child i felt like you know i, I had this feeling when so i have an older brother and at home me and my brother my mom were the ones that live at home and my brother actually went a couple of years ago or actually about 10 years ago he went on holiday so he went abroad so it was just me and my mom and the dynamic completely changed like when i'm when it's just me at home like her love for me increases more she's showing me more love i'm getting like she's cooking like yeah she, she's coming to me more she would be talking to me more they, they take care of me more that's how my mom would have been and that's how it felt like so when i was the only actor they all looked after me more it was so it was so much fun to be honest they were talking they, they were like okay so what do you do like what kind of stuff have you done before mostly the conversation was on that day so after a week so the second week of shooting and then we really connected and i got to ask a lot of questions and it was great um yeah it was, it was fun and the, and I didn't get to see the actor that day. And then the very last day was the coffee shops shoot. Coffee shop was interesting because um, yeah, it was a nice place for me to relax, sit down, and they, uh, they yeah, they were like you know you can order anything you want, just relax here. So I was looking after the stuff, and there was the shoot happening. There was actually a boy with his gra like little child there with his grandmother, and they he was so intrigued by what we were doing and the acting. They they knew that I was acting as well, acting by scenes, and I come and sit down. So they were there and he was so interested he was coming up to the camera he was coming to he was playing with the uh, the director and everything and he uh, yeah he was just there and they were shooting outside he was just looking out the window and everything and first of all the, the lady goes to me like you know your job is the easiest you just have to sit here and all and they have to do all the hard work it, which is 100 percent true yes they all have to work hard the, the crew who never get credit for what they do in every movie that you watch the crew, the team, the people that work behind the camera are the ones that work very, very hard. The actor, to that level, no, like very, very, no way near the, the amount that they have to put to create that scene, how long it actually takes the scene, which is crazy. But the only thing is, for me to be there in that position, for me to have convinced these people to let me in their projects, that was hard. You know, I had to really struggle to get to that stage. I had to do you know, all the projects I had to do. In fact, even the headshots that they um, saw of me for me to accept, those weren't actually f taken by any professional photographer. Those were actually taken by me. And so many people now nowadays, if any of you want to be an actor and you have to go and get professional headshots and you go outside and you you go and look for it, you know, people will say you know three hundred pounds. People say four hundred pounds um, if you live in the UK. That's how that's what it is like, man. It's like an auction. It, the only difference is it's the op it's like an opposite auction. It's a reverse auction because in an auction, people shout numbers for based on what they will give you for the product that you're getting. But here, these guys are giving you <laughs> shouting numbers for you to pay them for their services. So yeah, three hundred pounds, four hundred pounds. One guy nine hundred pounds. I was like, are you silly? For nine hundred pounds, what are you gonna get? Really, I don't. I don't even think the camera and the light and the editing software. I don't even think all of that would be nine hundred pounds. What for this guy's services? And the only thing is, I understand, like, um, yeah, photography, that department, there is a study for that, and there is a department, there is a job line for that. But um, I, I learned the skill myself, and what it was, is what I've realized, is me and the professional photographer, what our difference, we have, the difference that I've seen is, for a photographer, if so, let's say you, so you're watching this video right now, so you sit down, a professional photographer like a 900 pound okay 300 pound photographer sits down and he's trying to get the angles of you he'll just tell you look tilt your head this way you know squint your eyes and just look at my finger so just look right there cool and then he'll take a snap he'll take a shot it was like okay he'll take, look at the shot and he'll be like okay cool and he'll do it one more time and he'll look at it and he'll be like cool that's it he would only need to take two shots for him to know what to do and get it all right and the third shot would be the perfect shot so you just has to do two. You have to do two like 
uh, I don't know what they call it, but I, I personally call it like a mock shot. So just, just to understand, okay, let me just get a feel for this and see how it looks. He would only do it twice to get that idea. And then he'll do it perfect the third time. Me, I have to do it about 30 times. That's the difference. But honestly and truly, do I want it? That's what I want. And that's how I, this is my theory of everything. Because if, if you think about the smartest kid in the class in, in your school and the not so smartest kid in your school, the only difference is what takes him like one hour to learn. This guy might take a whole week to learn. That's it. You know, that's pretty much it. You know, if you're both like in the same class and you're they're both like in the smart class, let's say they're both in top set, they're all smart. And yeah, what would take the smartest person about a week to or one day to understand or a week to understand this guy might take six months to understand. But you will understand it. if he puts the hard work and the effort into it, he will get it. And that's how it is. If I put the hard work into it, and I'm consistent and I don't care. Like I take the pictures. So I have to understand the lighting. I have to understand what kind of lighting, what kind of angles to get to properly, like eccentricate my eyes and properly get my skin tone and everything. I would have to do it all by myself. It would take me about 30 times to get that. So, and it did actually. The the, the pictures that were on my profile are some of the pictures that I took. A lot of the pictures were professional photographers uh, that took those. Um, obviously, theirs is going to be better. I'm not in com I'm not comparing myself to them. I'm just saying like when I had to take it and I had to take it myself, set the timer and everything and know the angles and everything. It took me about 30 shots to get that perfect one shot. That perfect one image was, yeah, it took me a lot of time to make. So that's what I mean. So it, it will be like, like that. So the hard work that I would have to put in to convince these people. So I said that to the lady. I said, like, you know, the hard work that I, but yeah, I had to work really hard to like be at the level to convince these guys and to have done some short film. I did a short film about a year ago and uh, whether or not it's probably, it probably is or isn't the best I've done, but the thing is, that's the reason, that was the short film that these guys saw to say, hey, you know, we want this guy in our film. So everything, every little helps. That's what I like to say, every little helps. But <laughs> it's fun. It was so much, it was so much fun. And, and, I, and I told the, the lady, you know, I think that was a grandson. I was like, you know, if he wants to be an actor, you should make him an actor. Uh, at least let him try. I think he, he looks like he's really interested because he, he, he couldn't keep his eyes off. He, there was nothing. There was nothing on the phone that was interesting for him. There was no games or nothing that was interesting for him. Nobody else, his grandparent, granddad and grandma were there. He wasn't that focused. He was so focused on what these the films were making. I probably would have been the same, but I've never seen a film being made in my life. So I've only like kind of seen a film. There was a, a Bollywood actor called Saif Ali Khan. Um, and this was years ago. He filmed in Wembley, London. And I didn't see the shoot, but I saw him come out the caravan. I saw it in the distance, like they were setting up cameras. That's it. And my mum, we didn't stay there for too long. So that's what I saw. So I saw, saw the actor and that was it. But um, so I, I never got a chance to actually see a film being made. I'm thinking like, maybe have I? Or anything like a music video? I don't think I have. You know, I don't think I have. I don't live in an area where this sort of stuff happens. But now, I mean, doing films now, I mean, there could be a film happening right next door to me. There could be a film happening on the street right now for, for me. Like, I don't know. You know, film can happen anywhere, so it's it's cool. But you know, I personally only seen films that I've worked in. So, and uh, I've worked in a few people. Are, and these this film and the last photo shoot was the only live location ones for me. That one was cool because there was a school going by, and the same scenario happened here. There was a school going by with school kids, and the teacher stops, and they're all watching like me, and then I'm standing up on the rails like doing the photo shoot for that last shoot a couple of months ago. And in this shoot, the same thing happened. Like we're in the coffee shop, the barista, the, uh, no, the, the thing is called like barista something, the coffee shop's called. But uh, we were out, I was outside and I was waiting for the shot and filming me walking and the school was watching. So that incident happened in this one. So yeah, man, as long as, if you guys want to be actors, you know, my advice, is, I mean, it's not advice, but my suggestion to, if I was to say it to myself is basically do what I do, which is, you know, don't let go of your, personal life or passion or any um, your studies and your profession don't let go of any of that your personal life so your social life and your your hobbies these things so if I look at it as a triangle you know the important thing is your work your studies money these things are important and then your family social life is here and your hobbies here so if you're going to put fit in acting it should only be pushed into these this two zones do not touch the top zone that's the most important. As long as it doesn't affect your job or anything. I was on my holidays, so I was good. 
to uh, film this. So as long as it doesn't affect that. It was my friend's birthday actually on one of the days and he was calling me to come to his house and everything. I was, uh, I was like, nah, I have to go to the shoot. So I had to miss his birthday. Um, kind of interesting. But he was the first person to watch this film and give me this. And, uh, you know, he messaged me, he messaged me and told me he really enjoyed it. So he was the first person to do that. Some people have told me, so it's worth it, man. But yeah, it was sad that I missed his birthday. But uh, yeah, it was so cool and so many people asking me to come out and everything I didn't, I was really busy with this, I had to wake up at 4am, even in the night shoots, night shoot, I would finish the night shoot and I have to go to sleep and quickly wake up and go shoot the next day. So it was, yeah, it was, it was fun. And we got to see the poster of me like on the street where, you know, the, one of the old posters, you know, I've got the video. And we got to see that and I was saying that to them and I was like, oh my god, you know, the bandana, you know, you see the bandana and everything else, fun. Yeah, so these guys took care of me so much. That's what I just wanted to say in this video. And it was a fun experience for me. I didn't take any behind the scenes. I normally take a lot of behind the scenes for all my other projects. This one I just decided because you know I'm an actor, so why do I need to take the behind the scenes? And... Also, they were already taking the behind the scenes. There is a behind the scenes. It's, it's actually really cool to see. Um, if you go on my Instagram, it will be there. I'll drop my Instagram down in the description. So go there and it's all like there. I've spoken about it and I've put it on my stories and on my highlights. So you guys can go and check those out. It will be quite interesting for you. But um, yeah, working in this film was an absolute pleasure of mine. So I'd like to thank them with all my heart. Mr. Dongli, Mr. Kyle. These two boys... Hard work, man. So much hard work. They weren't even resting. They were asking me to rest. But they weren't even resting themselves. So it's crazy. Um, the main actor, Daniel, he was he was a really sweet guy. Um, we didn't really get to talk that much. Um, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't like to be. I don't. I, I'd rather not say much than to say something silly. And I've already had an experience where I talk to people like my best friends and. You know, I, I said something that was conveyed in the wrong way for them. So I was like, you know, from now on, I learned that lesson. So mistakes, mistakes are like the what we need to pass mistakes or what we're going to help use to help us move more in the future and get to where we need to go to. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to talk less for the shoot. So I thought that. But yeah, actually, he was a very, very sweet guy. Um, speak, working with him was an absolute pleasure. Uh, yeah, that was the only real actor. The, the, there's also other actors in the film that I didn't actually have any screen space with them, so I didn't get to meet them. But they all did well, watched the film, and they all did really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, and the film looks cool, and the quality looks amazing, bro. Wow. I love the film camera. Yo, that, that thing, the first time in my life, I think March 2021 was the first time in my life that I got to stand. That was the first time I ever stood in front of a camera. First time I got to stand next to a professional camera and I saw that and looked at it and I was like, yo. Like how some people, a lot of a lot of kids will look at cars and they will be like, yo, wow, what is this? I was looking at with that same like excitement. I was looking at a camera, these cameras, movie cameras are so crazy. Bro, yo. Yeah, but man. Oh yeah, and I was there for the last, for me personally, I was like, I was there for the first shoot, the first shot, they said action, I was there, and then when they said that's a wrap, the last shot, I was there. I think that my face was the last thing they shot for the film, the, when I come out of the, um, the cafe and I, I, I look around and, I, and then I go back, I think that was the last thing that we shot. It was, it was fun, it was fun, it was so much fun, and I was just so hyped and yeah, to be in touch with them. It was, it was so cool. It was so cool. But yeah, this project was, it was delightful for me to work in. And now it released, so watching it was also fun and amazing. Uh, the story is, well, yeah, it's a, I'm not going to ruin the story, but it's about a worker. So the main character is the other actor, and he's, like, his character's, like, work-related stress, sound, um, sensitivity, and yeah, how the issues related to work and how that is. And my character is a character with a bit of attitude, but he is, he's jobless, but he's, he just doesn't care. You know, you told him the world's going to end tomorrow. He's like, nah, I don't care. I'm just going to do what I do anyway. It's unfortunate. I mean, things should happen my way. I got a few remnants of that in my personal life, like a, um, a little bit like that. But I wouldn't just I wouldn't just throw everything away and just be like, oh, 
you know, screw this. If I don't get a job, I'm just nah, I'm not going to do anything. No, I'd probably still get a basic job, but still apply and try to get a job that suits my qualification. If this was me in real life, and uh, but yeah, but that character, he's more like he doesn't care. So I kind of showed that in the attitude and a little bit of my style elements I wanted to use in this, so the style of smoking and drinking and stuff. And they left it, they kept it in the film. They really, really wanted that in the film. So that was kind of special for me to put a lot of my signature stuff into the film. I always thought that I would have to make a film myself to start putting my own things into it. But these projects have really showed me and enlightened me and brought me out to, to show that. And I'm an actor of instinct. I don't know all of this like styles of acting because I never, I told you, I've never ever went to any acting class. I've never had a teacher or coach teach me how to act. It's always just me performing with my instincts. And I, I, you don't need to. The, the fact that you're not obligated to, it's, it works differently for different people. If you're an actor and you want to go and learn acting and study it, have a coach teach you and do all like the qualifications and stuff, that's great. I, I respect that. You know, That's for other people. That's what's for them. That's what best suits them. For me, it really is not for me. So I stay away from that completely. But And also stage work. I don't like being on stage and I don't like being in like class environment. So I always stay away from that environment. But... Um, being in a shoot and working with these people and practicing myself and coming to an understanding with whatever they the idea that they have and the way i would create stuff and finding that balance point and sometimes you know we'd probably have to remove more and it leans more towards what they would want and which is great but sometimes the even more great stuff is when they accept and comply to my way you know when when they were like okay the way you're doing it we like it come and do it so I, I even practiced one of the lines. It was just me that practiced and I, I recorded my voice and I was practicing and I went on set and I did it and they liked it. Uh, it, was, it was cool. It was cool to, to experience that. So yeah, man, acting was wonderful. Acting in this film was really wonderful. The live location, traveling, um, being outside. It's, it's a very different experience, you know, being outside and your stuff will be on the floor and you have to go to the... A, the toilets if the a, a pub or a coffee shop or something a shop nearby or a mcdonald's and you have to go and you know do your your face and everything you have to make sure your hair and everything's right your clothes if you want to change your clothes you go do it there that's what happened with the last photo shoot i did and it happened in this so yeah to get freshened up and you know, moisturize and get, get your face ready and then go there and perform there yeah so yeah they looked after me so i just love to say you know, shout out to all of them. It's wonderful. I'm very grateful to be a part of this project. And they all looked after me and I'm very grateful for that. And they answered all my questions. Every question I had was answered, which is what's special, man. I really wanted to connect with these people and you know, learn so much about a lot of the things related to filmmaking. And I got those answers. And this film is, hopefully it's going to like festivals, world level festivals, they said. Um, because the, the director was Korean, so... Korean, so these Korean directors, they want to, you know, take this back to their place and put it into festivals. This happened for another actor I know, so he did the film here and they, you know, showed it in festivals here and it did well, so they were taking it to an international level. So that's what they want to do with this one, so they want to showcase it here, showcase it in Korea, and um, they want to showcase it, take it to world level, why wouldn't they? So yeah, that happens bro, my name. Yo, that's crazy. That is crazy. Already one of my films went to festivals. Um, I was like the second main character in that also, but you know, um, they didn't really they didn't really mention me that much, which was interesting. But this film, they mentioned me everywhere. So you know, this guy, these people have lots of love, and uh, the same similar sort of idea that they had in this film was the idea that I have in my other films because normally in my films because I want to act in my films but I don't want to be the main character I don't want to carry the emotion I want to have like a normal guy a normal guy that you guys can connect with and be like okay oh this is uh, so it's, it's like you're looking at someone that you personally know it doesn't look like you're looking at an actor me the thing is I'm not really a normal guy with like normal um, I don't comply to like the normal standards to things as you know I'm a very like different guy some people to some people weird and you know whatever the negative and some people really really love what i do they love the way i walk they love the way i act they love the way i talk they love the things i do um there's there's also also people in my life and or in the world 
Some people really hate me, some people really love me. Fortunately, a lot of the filmmakers I worked with really love me. They love the way I walk, they love the, the things that I was saying, they love the way I talk and my body language and everything. But yeah, so for me to do that and get accepted is very difficult. So I have to use my smartness a little bit, man. So I took the smart approach. So what I'm trying to do is me be the second character, so someone who's important to the main character and, you know, build it up like that. So you, when you're seeing him, so using him, you connect with that character as well as you see this character and you love this character. So I'm, I'm like more of a, more of like a Hagrid in Harry Potter. But Harry Potter would be like a normal person that you would all connect with. Well, I would be like a, a Hagrid kind of person. So that's why I'm like, so yeah. So you'll see and connect with my character. You'll love my character. So you, you, you wouldn't like connect with my character from like a first person view. You wouldn't put yourself in my character's shoes, but you would feel like, okay, if this guy was here in my life. If I had a brother like this guy, if I had a friend like this guy, what would that life be like? That sort of a connection. That's why I wanted to create with me in my projects. And this film was basically that, <laughs> you know, I didn't, I don't have any connections to the story. I didn't write the story at all. They wrote the story. I didn't have to do any traditional like auditions or anything for this project, which was, which was crazy because I, I actually was feeling sick during the time of the casting time. So I, my voice was done. So I couldn't, if they told me to act, I couldn't have, they, they basically selected me based on like films I've done, show reels. That's what they used to select me by. But uh, yeah, if they made me act in front of the camera at that time, though, I don't know what I would have done because my, I was sick. I was really sick. So I was very silent and quiet when I was, um, when they were talking, um, you know, the video call that we had, the Zoom call. But then on set, luckily, all the, I was 100% well and on the, and when on set, I acted, did my job correctly. Yeah. That's all I wanted to say. So I'm just very happy, man. Very, 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 very excited and really, honestly, if I said that all of this was because of my hard work and everything, that's only about 10%. There is, I believe in some sort of like special power and supernatural. I, I believe in like good energy and all that stuff. I'm starting to believe in all of that. But uh, my biggest energy, my biggest force is you guys, my little dragons, the support and the nice comments and the nice things that people have said on this channel is the reason for me to have these opportunities, for me to fuel myself and go and, you know, at, at least attempt to do some, some of the things. I have no fear. I have no, like... I will try something and I'll do it with all my love and I'll do it to make other people happy. Therefore, I have no remorse. I have no regrets because I'm doing it for myself. I'm going to learn. I'm going to study. And even the smallest things that I can get out of it will always be useful to me. And in this life, this small period between, because, bro, like, where am I going to take all of this? I can't take anything with me. That's what my understanding is. There's nothing I can take with me. When I die, it's it's over. I have to leave everything behind. So I want to leave something that's memorable. That's really the main reason why I, I do YouTube, I do acting. Because I want to leave all of these things here. I want to try to do something so meaningful. Leave it here for people to see me and remember me by. So that's really what my, my target. And I'm working very, very hard for that. And I'm trying to do it my way. But yeah, so I have, I have no regrets on anything, on any stage. And all of that is because of the love I have for you and the love that you're giving me. So we're, we're in love, man. It's our love. That's all it is. We are all together on this journey. Everything that I get, I look at it as I'm just in a better platform. I'm not better or worse or anything like that. No, I'm just in a different platform on a higher platform. So I can give you better content, better things to watch and give you that enjoyment and be that person in your life. You know, that's what I want to do. And to more and more to a bigger audience. That's what I want to do. So I want to devote my life to that 100%. So yeah, so I'm very happy to what I did and I'm very happy for this project and, you know, having this on me, you know, put this in the rucksack and have it on me as a baggage and I'm traveling forward and all of that experience and what I have as this film and it's a good show reel as well because a lot of the scenes I got to perform, I was able to put together and make it for myself. So that's really cool. And uh, yeah, so future projects, man. I don't know what my next project is. It, is it going to be the project I'm directing or is it going to be another project? We'll see. We'll see. So how many projects have I done? I think this is my 11th. So I did two extra, so I did an extra work for the first film, if that counts. Um, it's a film called Color Room. Then I did Sea View as that one scene on Netflix, not Netflix, Amazon Prime. 
that Amazon Prime series thing that I did that one scene for that was my second and that was my first ever acting but I did extra work first for one movie um, then I did a film called All Roads Lead to Home as an extra and then that was it and I was like I'm never never ever doing extra work again then I did a short film that was supposed to be a that was supposed to be a short film but then they changed it into a commercial honestly it was so hard for me to watch that it was terrible so I was like I don't, I'll forget that even happened it was good pay but it was it was horrible so I left that one then I did photo shoot for the um, the university accommodation which was the one that was on the bus and on the boards and everything and I've even got a YouTube video for that I'll link it down in the description I'll, you guys can all watch that so that was number five and what I do number six was the movie it was a short film what are you doing uh, no speaking but you know a lot of body language in that then it was the time for change film that was what I did that was I, I got to speak in that one line I did it for the, the those were good money as well as the, the, the you know the scene was really good uh, that one was really cool because they it was a girl that messaged me for that one and she was like oh yeah one more thing I'll, I'll tell you one more thing but um, there was a girl that messaged me for that saying you're really good looking you know we want you to be a part of this film that's what she said so I was like okay you know it's fine it's great um, it was about it's about woman abuse I was like you know I don't really want to play I don't want to play an abuser for a film there's some things I won't do and I'm not beating up a woman I'm not abusing women in films or children or anything like that negative towards them I'm not doing that so um, uh, yeah so I mean if the, the, even even we have to think about the context and so many things I have to think about before I can even consider doing a character like that but they were like no you're not playing the abuser you're just a friend of one of the main characters okay cool so I did that film then it was the next film was it's all around nine was it we lost count now seven yeah that was that film then it was a featured film where I die in the horror film that I don't know that's probably going to come out soon as well then it was a um, the merchants of the night was the Shakespeare novel that I got to act as Bassanio and I got to do that that was the yeah it was shot in a studio it was a student film that I got to do then number 10 was the photo shoot that I did a couple of weeks ago so that also I'll link it down in the description and then this is my 11th project so happy yeah, and one more thing I wanted to say was uh, the girl, there was a girl that was watching me from the top and, you know, every time I have a habit of when, as soon, until the director says cut, I'm still going, so I'm still walking. So I carried on walking and um, what happened was she was, she was just looking at me, so I went upstairs, I had to keep going upstairs, so I, I was like, okay, hi, you know, you want to see this film? She was like, you're an actor, you know, interesting. There was a, a class that was going on there as well, it was funny. So I'm standing here, the canal was here. And yeah, so I had to walk up the stairs. So yeah, yeah. So I had to do the scene, talk on the phone, and then um, look at the canal, and then go upstairs. There was like a class. There was like I don't know if there was like twenty people in that class. There was there was a class of like there were young people, and then there was a professor that was teaching them something. And I don't know what he's teaching them at the canal. He's probably like, look, this is the canal. This is the water. This is the boat. That white thing over there. That's a that's a swan. Oh yeah. So he was basically saying that he's like, you know, that thing over there, that thing over there, you know, this over there. He was like having class, and the whole class were every time they they were getting the things ready. I'm looking over up at the thing, and um, they were all looking at me. All of their focus was on me. I was like, yo, you know, that's that's crazy. They were all looking at me, and they actually came even walked past us as well. They were all just looking at me, smiling. And I was still acting. I was, I, I was smiling, acting, and then as soon as you say action, I become the character. But then I never stop until I. Uh, the director says cut so until the director says cut i just carry on walking so i carried on walking upstairs and he says cut and then the girl came and spoke to me i was like uh yeah we're doing the film if you want to see the film you know if you got yeah you can have she was asking me for my snapchat so i gave her my instagram instead i was like if you want to see the film see it on my instagram um and that was it i don't have snapchat so yeah that's why um but uh yeah yeah and then that girl she saw me on as we were shooting in the next location she was actually there as well so uh, yeah, that's where she got my Insta. And then the director's like, Rishi, is everything okay? Can you come and act? And I was like, no, 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 everything's cool. Are you ready? I was like, I was ready, ready, ready. Okay, action. And then you did see. So that was, that was interesting. It was an interesting moment. So yeah. My little dragons, thank you all so much. Thank you to the directors. Thank you to the team. And thank you, thank you all. And thank you to nature, power, everything. My little dragons, because... I'm so happy and fortunate to be doing what I'm doing and there's not more yet to come.
My Little Dragons. Tell me down in the description below what you guys think. And uh, I told you, as I said just a minute ago, that I will link everything down in the description and comments. So please go and check those out. And this film, you know, we hopefully it gets all the views that it deserves. Um, yeah, I think, I really do think, and the hard work that's gone into it really does deserve a lot. So please guys go and check the film out and show your love by liking and subscribing to that channel. And my little dragons, yeah, if you want to say anything to me personally, down in the description below tell me, or if you want to DM me on Instagram, please go and DM me on Instagram, I'll respond. And yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. Let me give you a hug. <sighs> my little dragons, links to my training videos as well, links to my playlists, they will also be down in the description below. Please go and check those out and show your love by liking, sharing and commenting, man. I'll link everything down below, man. I'm trying to entertain. I'm trying to make all these different kind of content so that you guys are entertained. That's all I need to do, man. It doesn't stop. It never stops. In fact, this is a new beginning. This is all a new beginning. So we'll take this time. This is never a full stop. It's always a comma. Or if it is a full stop, that means we started a new paragraph. We started something completely new. So this is a new game and it's moving forward and directing. That's a route that I am willing to take. And very, 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 very excited about that. Man, let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's hunt this. Damn. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching my little dragons. You are all awesome. You are all amazing, man. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay awesome, my little dragons. And I will see you all in the next video, man. Ah.